So when finding our nominal strain, we made the initial assumption that our tension steel yields. Um, so we need to check this assumption. So we initially assumed that our FS equals our FY. Um, so we need to check this assumption. So let's revisit our section. So if you remember our section, we had our, our uh, neutral axis at some depth C, and we had the distance from uh, the neutral axis to the center of the steel being D minus C. So we can have our, our strain diagram where our neutral axis is uh, the point of zero strain. We'll have our curvature. We'll have a strain of 0 0.003 at the uh, topmost uh, compressive fiber. And we'll have our steel strain down in the bottom. Uh, so what we can do is, uh, using sim our similar triangles, we can find that our E Cu over C is equal to our strain in the steel over D minus C. So then solving for our ES, we can find that our uh, ES is equal to our ECU, which is 0 0.003 over C times D minus C. Um, so what we can do then is we can check and see uh, where our uh, ES is. So if our ES is greater than or equal to our yield, then our assumption is okay. Um, if not, then what we'll need to do is we'll need to recalculate C. Um, with our actual um, steel stress. And we can just plug in our steel stress equal to our modulus of the steel times our strain in the steel, which will just be our strain in the steel, which was 0 0.003 times ES times D minus C over C. So we can plug um, this value can go into our um, C equal to T expression and then we can solve for uh, C. Um, so we'll look at this in a, in a different video but this is the, the basic concept. Um, in general our EC or sorry, our, our steel will yield. Um, so the uh, other thing that we need to check that um, is we need to see what the actual steel strain is. Um, so if our ES is greater than 0 0.005, then our section is um, tension controlled. And if our section is tension controlled, we can use a phi factor of 0.9 in, uh, in ACI. Um, so this was just kind of an overview of how we find our uh, steel, or the strain in the uh, tension steel, and uh, why it's important for our design.